All right. Plenty of people coming in here, which is fantastic. Thanks, guys. Um, appreciate you contributing to the uh, to the poll at the start here, just to keep things off and make it uh, make it interesting. Um, I won't lie; it was a slightly um, loaded question. I suspect I know what most of the answers will be, and I'm having my thoughts confirmed as they're coming through now. Um, Tom, if you've got control, mate, what do you think? Give people another couple of seconds, then we'll end that poll and have a quick look at the results before we kick off. Yeah, I, th I think probably everyone who's going to vote is going to has has gone there now it's stayed pretty steady for a, for a little while so yeah let's let's uh have a look at those results so uh based on that polling it looks like uh the vast majority of you have said uh so 80% plus have said no or partial to can you complete your pre-admissions without chasing paper forms, making follow-up phone calls and performing manual data entry. And that's really what we're going to be talking about today in a bit more detail about how a school was able to complete those processes without all of those very manual elements. Let's share my screen and pull up my desktop. Get rid of that poll. Okay, so hello everyone and welcome to Going Digital to Reduce the Cost of Pre-Admissions. This is an EdTech case study on Allerton High School. Today we're going to be analysing the pre-admissions challenges Allerton High School faced, the solutions they found and the stunning results they've been able to achieve. Uh, we were introduced earlier, but my name is Tom Owen. I'm one of the team looking after Operu in the UK, and I'm joined from sunny Melbourne. You've already heard him by Lachlan James, Operu's head of marketing. Um, good morning, or say, should I say good evening, Lachlan? Uh, thank you very much, Tom. Always a pleasure to make up the difference with the time zone and join you in your early morning. Aren't time zones fun? Good. <laughs> Before we dive into our case study today, I want to start by giving you some context on Operu, um, which will help inform some of the areas covered in the case study. Operu is a school productivity and process automation platform. We help thousands of schools and other organisations around the world to eliminate slow, expensive and paper based tasks. We're all about streamlining and digitising school processes. So that might be for things like school trips, extracurricular activities, parents evenings, updating medical information or staff processes like leave CPD requests, purchase orders, and, but importantly, what we're here to talk about today, admissions. And this is a bird's eye view of Operu in action. Schools can create completely bespoke forms to kick off any of these different processes. They can then add approval workflows, who needs to approve or, reje or reject any data collected and in what order distribute information and distribute forms to specific audiences. This could be all of your staff, or it could be to parents of year seven children with asthma, really, really specific. Operu works on any device, wherever you have access to the internet, so schools get instant responses. We then use triggers, triggers within the Operu system to follow up this data. Triggers mean you can take specific actions with specific bits of data, and we'll see those um, in a bit more detail as we talk through the Allison case study. Anyone who doesn't respond gets reminded and you can analyse all of this data in our admission setup. So there's a huge range of dashboards and things so you can analyse all this information. It's not just admissions we help with. If you want to make operational changes or just remove bits of paper and manual processes in any area across your school, we may well have a solution for you. S some schools engage with Operu just to solve one issue, like like this pre-admissions process, others use us to consolidate processes across their school, including all of the different areas we talk about here from school forms, consent, staff forms, anything at all to consolidate all of these different areas. But let's dive into admissions. From working with schools across the UK, we know that uh, that one of the most, if not the most resource intensive process is school pre-admissions. For the schools we work with across the UK, here's a list of just some of the basic documents, forms, consents and workflows your school needs to complete during this application and induction phase of pre-admissions. 
it can get quite overwhelming, especially if this is all on paper or requires a lot of manual processes in the back end. So if you're collecting the data from using a Google form or um, Cognito form or something like that, collecting that data, you've still got to get it into other systems. You've still got to analyze that data and send out additional forms, things like that. Um, but before we dive into an alternative, many schools here will have managed their pre-admissions process in the same way for years. And we kind of want to say at the outset that changing to a technology without some worthwhile reasons behind it is completely pointless. So why do schools look to change this process? Here's some reasons on screen. Number one for most of our schools is reducing workload. If you're using paper forms, that's a lot of stuffing of envelopes and distribution collating and manually typing information you get back which leads to our number two stop chasing information it was in the poll at the start every school has a percentage of parents who won't respond to normal requests which means chasing them and manually calling and emailing them removing this for the schools we work with has a huge value if you're a school using some kind of digital product like google forms as we mentioned are you still having to phone and chase parents to to complete that information better use of data. You don't know what answers parents will give, so you might send them everything just in case, or have to interpret that data when it comes in and then send on additional data, additional forms. Using a technology to manage who gets what information and when, not only creates less strain on staff, but helps with our fourth area, parental engagement. Make it as easy and simple for parents to access what you need them to complete on any device, anywhere, and in any language. And in our current situation and last year when this admissions process was run during uh, during COVID-19, that's even more of a priority. Um, you, A lot of schools have, have fed back to us that they've lost the ability for parents to be able to come in and complete those processes. So how can you do that remotely, but still be able to engage those parents in a really worthwhile way and get the information you need? Security and GDPR compliance. How safe is paper-based data? Can you control who sees what information and when with those paper or some of those other digital forms? And also, if you've got staff working remotely, how can they access this data, update information in a really secure way? And our final area, the, the area which we're here really to talk about today, is save money. We're talking about a lot of manual processes, plus the physical cost of paper, printing, postage, Perhaps if you're a school who goes around and distributes out these forms around local primary schools. So not only can we make improvements to the process, we see significant return on investments, a return on investment for schools being able to automate this process. To dig into those cost savings in more detail, traditional resource intensive pre-admissions take hours to complete, sheet after sheet of paper and a huge team of administrators, which all costs money. However, some basic analysis of independent statistics highlights just why this inefficient process needs to digitise. Estimates indicate that government schools across England spend a staggering £50 million on the administrative costs associated with processing, just those paper-based elements of pre-admissions applications. The average secondary school spends £7,200 on the paper-based administrative costs of pre-admissions alone. In addition, there's the time and expense that we've discussed, chasing parents, manual data entry, student induction, and much, much more. So the frightening facts we do know are merely the tip of a very large, very inefficient iceberg. But today, we're going to look at a school who has taken a different route to see what is possible for your school. To help us do this, we'll be looking at the journey Allerton High School embarked upon. Specifically, we'll assess how Allerton High School digitally transformed the way it manages pre-admissions, streamlining the entire process, automatically inducting new students once admitted, and instantly syncing all the data back into its management information system, which is SIMS. Now, Lachlan is with me because he recently sat down with Allerton's data manager and EVC co coordinator, Dar uh, sorry, Gary Lockery, to put together a case study on the school's great work. Unfortunately, Gary wasn't available to be with us today, but he said he's happy for Lachlan to walk us through the key takeaways in his place. And as we get through this case study, you'll see that there's links. So you can uh, click on that link and download the case study and see exactly uh, what Gary said. And we've got some other video content and things which you can have a look at in there. But Let's dive into the case study, Lachlan. Let's let's get into it. Let's do it. 
so as a starting point, let's look at the challenge. Um, Lachlan, what ignited Allerton's search for a digital method of streamlining and systemizing its pre-admissions process? Yeah, absolutely. Th thanks, Tom. And look, I'll, I'll say from the outset, um, look, I'm, I'm a poor substitute for Gary, but um, I had a really good time putting together the case study um, with him. And look, essentially, you know, before going digital, Gary explained that Allerton's, basically the entire pre-admissions process was paper-based. Not a single bit of it was online. So it was one of those things that they wanted to overhaul for quite some time. But just the day-to-day -day demands of, you know, running, you know, running a, a school basically seemed to always get in the way, which is obviously completely understandable. Um, the process they had in place, you know, which I'm sure many on the call can relate to, relied on people performing hundreds of repetitive, you know, time-consuming and pretty laborious tasks, really. Um, so from... Uh, enumerate staff hours wasted, uh, making photocopies, driving to local feeder schools to distribute physical pre-admissions packets, uh, drawn out face-to-face -face meetings, chasing parents over missing information or indecipherable handwriting. I'm sure that's a pretty familiar one. Uh, it's error-prone data entry and all this really dominated their entire summer. And because everything was people and paper-based, you know, Allerton spent hundreds of hours manually collecting and collating applications without ever really having a, a good overview of incoming data to help them manage, track and analyze trends, um, let, let alone sort of see a, a, a good overview of the whole process. Um, and then because the distribution collection and collation aspects of its pre-admissions you know, weren't systemized, Allerton had to manually type everything into SIMS in order to complete the application process and kick off student induction. So. As you can imagine, that volume of manual transcription combined with interpreting handwritten forms made it a pretty thankless task, which was fraught with a lot of data entry errors, as you'd expect. And simply put, in Gary's own words, he said the process lacked reliability, efficiency and, and scalability. Thanks, Lachlan. I'm, I'm sure the processes Allerton outlined will be recognised by many of those in this session. The collection distribution of data is a huge issue um, for many schools. Can I also ask, what about follow-up actions that need to be taken? I've mentioned it a couple of times, but yep. based on data collected from those initial applications, what sort of issues did Allerton run into there? Yeah, it's it's a good follow-up question, and it's probably what everyone on the call was wondering as well, because um, obviously that that's sort of the, the, the next step. And, you know, um, communications and additional information that needed to be distributed or requested based on certain types of responses already gathered, you know, was also done manually. So... As you can imagine, this chewed up a lot of time. So for example, if incoming students cited that they had particular food allergies, you know, Allison, Allison would need to pass that information along to the school canteen by hand. Um, you know, the same was true of you know, outgoing information um, such as extracurricular activity selection. So um, as another example, Allerton would send out you know, 200 bits of information for every applicant, just in case they were interested in one of any of the school's many co-curricular activities. So you know, they couldn't segment forms and communications into groups or automatically distribute targeted responses containing additional information you know, based on data received. So you know, when information came back, they'd have to manually filter through it again passing that data to relevant heads of department throughout the school, such as you know, the head of music, for example. Absolutely. And I, I think that's a really important thing when we look at these processes is that it's not just the collection of data, it's what happens with it afterwards. Who needs to know what information within your school? What do I as a parent need to know and how can we automate that whole process? Now, just before we get into the solutions which Allerton found, you mentioned that they'd been thinking about digitising this process pre-admissions for a little while. What made them actually take the plunge? Yeah, well, essentially, um, and this will be pretty familiar to most folks on the call too, I think, it, when when COVID-19 hit the UK schooling system, you know, manual methods of, you know, conducting student pre-admissions became you know, too difficult and in Allerton's, you know, assessment really too dangerous for, for schools and parents alike. So so that was really the push that, that, that made them go and actually implement an alternative. Um, and, and amongst that, you know, Gary also really talked about the importance of not just digitising everything, you know, in the context of social distancing and, you know, the world of remote, you know, schooling, but also ensuring that everything was unified in one place, not just digitised, but unified in one place. So if you pop over to the next slide, Tom, 
we've got a really good uh, really good quote from Gary here. So, you know, he wanted to make sure that everyone had access to the same set of data without being in the same room. Um, and so I think this is a really good quote. So bear with me, I will read it out. So Gary says, you know, by contrast, I have a number of close contacts who work at other schools which don't have Operu. By all reports, it's been a nightmare. All forms, communications and data are distributed, collected and stored in different apps. Nothing's connected, let alone automated. It's moments like this that I realise upon reflection that the last 12 months could have been even harder. And I think that's a really nice way to sum up you know, a lot of what they've been able to take away and build on a lot of the impetus that pushed them to actually go and find an alternative. I think that's probably a, a great segue into the solution section, Tom. Absolutely. So when it comes to that, to that digital solution that they found and implemented, what were some of the specific benefits that stood out for Gary and the team at Allerton? Yeah, definitely. Well, well, first and foremost, it's just the automation. So from, from Allerton's perspective and to quote Gary, he says, the biggest thing is that chasing forms is now a thing of the past. Now, Gary and his team, you know, just select the cadence with which they want automated reminders to go out. And, you know, the, the parents of prospective students keep receiving subsequent requests until missing information is submitted. Um, next is about where the data is collected. So, you know, once submitted, all documents, forms, and associated data go into a single digital repository. So all authorized staff and prospective parents have access to a single view of the same information at all times from any web enabled device. Um, now that also delivers enhanced visibility, of course. So for the first time, the staff at Allerton can track and slice and dice incoming data in real time with dashboards and filters. And this means they can assess progress, trends, you know, and demand for certain aspects of the school program throughout that pre-admissions process. Absolutely. Now, I know that Gary talked a lot in the case study about the importance of integrating this digital pre-admissions process with Allerton's management information system, which is SIMS. And yeah. can you talk us through why this was so important to Allerton, particularly in the context of saving time and ensuring their data accuracy? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, as you can see on this slide, Gary describes integration with SIMS as a game changer. Um, firstly, all dietary and medical data captured during pre-emissions now automatically syncs with the student record in SIMS upon acceptance. You know, not only does that you know, save time, it reduces risk by ensuring we have a single trustworthy version of the truth for managing emergency situations. So that's really important. Um, beyond medical and dietary information, you know, capturing other pre-emissions data digitally is also saving Allerton significant time while removing that human error component that I talked about from, from, from that ongoing equation. And so, you know, for Gary and the team, there's no more interpreting messy handwritten forms and retyping information from paper documents back into SIMS. Absolutely. And I know from your, inter I, knew, I know your interview with Gary was quite detailed, but at a very high level, what were some of the other functional areas identified as critical for streamlining Allerton's pre-admissions process and reducing yep. the resources required to oversee it? Yeah, definitely. So, you know, before we get into the results section, there's probably three main things that Gary really pinpointed. So, you know, one, the ability to automatically segment communication and recipient types. So Gary really loves, you know, what we know as Operu smart groups. So that's the ability to automatically add students to certain groups within the system, then instantly send them specific communications based on answers received via Operu eForms. Um, so, you know, Allerton's medical form is a really good example of these follow-up actions. So if a parent of prospective students, you know, it, it indicates that their child is an asthmatic, um, Allerton have set up the system so that a number of things happen automatically. So the child in question is placed into a high-risk medical group within the system. Uh, then they sent a supplementary e-form requesting uh, parents indicate asthma severity, uh, details of prescribed medication, and if severe, They've also asked to attach a healthcare plan obtained from their doctor. Um, two uh, would be the ability to trigger instant follow-up actions. So Allerton has combined what I was talked about then as Operu smart groups with uh, trigger actions to automate additional follow-up actions. So for example, when pre-admitted families fill out Allerton's disability questionnaire and indicate that their child requires extra support, they use trigger actions to instantly send an email notifying their special education needs coordinator that communication pinpoints the specific child, the family, and recommends follow-up actions. So in this case, the automated email suggests that the Senko 
should set up a meeting to determine how the school can best assist that incoming student. Uh, and number three would be the flexible ways of engaging with parents. So, you know, Gary said that uh, mobile accessibility and, and multi-language translations played an important role in improving the timeliness and accuracy of pre-admissions applications as well. Thanks, Lachlan. And it's clear that Gary and his colleagues at Allerton have done a lot of great work. Should we dive over to some of the results which they've been able to achieve? Um, just want to say at this stage, thanks for all of you who are, who are putting in questions. We will come to these, these questions later on and, and answer them. But thank you. If you do have questions, do put them in that chat box and we will follow up on them. So absolutely, let's let's dive into, into some of these results. When it comes to those results, I know there are quite a number, including the summaries we can see on the screen right now. Generally speaking, I know Allerton transformed an entirely paper-based and manual journey into an automated experience, which drastically reduced the resources and effort required by both parents and, crucially, staff. What yeah. I'd like to know is, what are some of the results Gary and the team at Allerton are most proud of? Um, can, can, can I say the whole slide? No, um, <laughs> no that, 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 they've done a lot of great work. And, and I think you know, overall, it's a it's, uh, far superior experience for everyone involved. And that's definitely Gary's key message, his key takeaway from the whole thing, speaking to him. Um, what really stands out to me is Gary's sort of summation of the difference. And you know, what it really comes down to is this. They saved hundreds of staff hours distributing pre-admissions packets. They saved hundreds of hours chasing forms and missing information. Uh, sending follow-up communications and actions is now all systemized. So that's all automated based on the data that is returned. And in Gary's own words, he says, and I'm quoting, um, we had all pre-admissions forms completed and returned in days with two people overseeing the process rather than an entire team of people manually chasing down forms for weeks. To call the change to our pre-admissions process transformative would not be an overstatement. Um, so I think, again, our clients normally say it better than we do. So that's a really nice way of saying it. And if you flip across to the next slide, Tom, I think we've got, yeah, we've got one more, one more quote from Gary, which I think, again, is in that case study. So if you've um, been clicking on some of those URLs in the slides, to get and download the whole thing. Um, and we'll make sure we find a way to give it to everyone after this as well, because it is really worth a read. And uh, like I said, the school's words we work with are always better than ours. Um, and on, in that vein, here's a really good quote from Gary from that case study that sums it up. So bear with me, I'll read this one out as well. And Gary says, we've saved hundreds of hours, um, thousands of pounds and a lot of heartache. I'm so happy and amazed with our pre-admissions process now. We have completely removed all paper from the new starters parents experience. We send out all forms digitally. Parents love it responding quickly and accurately from any device or in any language. They also provide us with student medical data, which flows straight back into SIMS. Admin staff love it too. Operu saves us loads of time as the system triggers next steps in the workflow, subsequent communications and does the chasing for us. So as I said, Tom, uh, it's kind of hard for us to say it better than that. Um, and I think Gary sums up why they've been on this journey really well. Absolutely. Now, I know that Allerton High School has been working hard to streamline other operational tasks and processes, utilising Opera's digital workflows. What's next for them? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, as you say, Tom, there's a lot of paper and human reliant you know, operational tasks and processes in, in most schools and that Allerton are you know, digitising and looking to automate further over the coming year and, and particularly as COVID begins to ease. Um, but, but speaking of COVID, um, you know, Gary really emphasised the importance of harnessing digital solutions that allowed Allerton to run virtually, um, you know, in, in, in really you know, the heart of that, that lockdown and that you know, remote learning period. So, so during the pandemic, they've been using Operu to undertake digital operations um, uh, all across the school, but some of the major ones include uh, parent communications and engagement, uh, survey distribution, such as uh, determining the IT needs of students when studying off site, uh, obtaining parental permissions, including consent for students to participate in things like home cooking programs, um, GCSE course selection for outgoing students, uh, arranging free school meals for eligible students through Operu, even while they're not physically at school. And, you know, on, on the impending you know, re return to the classroom, which we're kind of, you know, go going through right now, you know, Gary's talked about Allison, you know, you know, digitally collecting, uh, digitally collecting uh, consents from all its students to participate in lateral flow testing as well. Um, so, you know, 
in addition, you know, Gary's really keen to recommence Allerton's program of, of uh, educational visits um, when some sort of semblance of normality returns to school life, because um, they do a lot in this space. They normally run 40 to 50 trips each year, and they are actually using Operu to sort of streamline and digitise that entire trip management process, which is quite exciting. Um, and now, lastly, as schools across the UK sort of you know, gear up for the beginning of pre-admissions for the for the next academic year. You know, Operu is um, Operu is releasing a new feature. Um, you know, to further streamline the process for for Sim schools, and it's a predefined Sims, you know, pre-admissions e-form template. And I'm bringing this up because that's something that Gary is super excited about as well. And just before we see a quote from Gary, I'll just quickly explain what it is, what I'm talking about for everyone on the call. Um, you know, this template um, basically includes all the questions that schools might ask parents and carers about their child. So the questions on the e-form correspond to data fields in SIMS, which are usually gathered or verified during the pre-emissions process, such as, you know, priority contact, ethnicity and religion. Uh, the form and questions contain special mapping allowing data to sync from the form to the correct fields in SIMS once a pre-admitted student is deemed enrolled. Um, and, you know, this is, you know, Gary's reaction to that, you know, new um, enhancement, which he is going to be using. Um, and so, um, you know, give, give, give me a moment here um, and I'll just, I'll just read this one out as well. Um, so this is from Gary. We're already looking forward to coordinating our 21-22 student intake because we're excited to build on what we've already started with Operu. Um, and just for anyone to be excited about pre-admissions, I think probably says a lot because um, it's normally a pretty arduous task. Uh, and he goes on to say, this new functionality will completely reshape the final data collation stage prior to enrollment. What took weeks? will now take hours. It's going to be incredible. It's hard to put into words the positive difference it will make. Managing our pre-emissions data is about to get a whole lot easier again. And I think that's a super good way to sum up the benefit uh, of what they're, you know, what they've achieved through the hard work they've put in at Allerton and, and what they're looking forward to for this uh, enrollment period coming up, Tom. Absolutely. Thanks, Lachlan. I'm very conscious we've got about a minute left and there were a lot of the same questions coming through. So um, just to, to skip on to our Q&A very quickly. Um, so a lot of you have asked about other MIS because we were talking a lot about SIMS. We do integrate with, with lots of other MIS. Um, if you get in contact with us, we'll give you full details of how that would work with your different MIS in school. Um, a few of you have asked about setup time. Setup time is pretty quick. Um, normally takes us a couple of days to, to put in that integration and get your, your particular forms and things set up. But most schools go from going ahead with Opera, go live within 10 days for their pre-admissions. We had schools last year signing up towards the end of June, still getting all their data in and ready uh, before they went on their summer holidays. So it's a pretty quick process and um the last and there was one more question which i was going to pull out which i've now forgotten ah the any language statement so one of the things which is built into operu is a multi-language translation capability so you can distribute all of your forms in english no matter what language your parents speak um it will translate into their own user-defined language so it's a really easy way of communicating with parents of all sorts of different languages um if there are any, if there's any additional questions which we haven't been able to answer, uh, we will uh, we will try and answer those. And um, I think all of these these slides are going to be available to you. I would suggest you go here to this link and have a look at Opera. There's a five minute version of how this works, and there's a really in depth uh, version of the case study as a video as well as the case study itself um, to do. And uh, I'm aware I'm I think I'm one minute over time, but I'm just going to wrap up by by saying a big thank you to everyone on the call thank you uh for joining us at the start of this week and um i know for allerton that this particular process being able to digitize this means that they've been able to do no more chasing of parents no more lost or crumpled forms no more piles of paperwork or information filling up uh people's inboxes and critically, no more manual typing and pushing information back into their MIS, which saves, which is really where they are saving the biggest amount of money um, yeah. and the hundreds of hours and thousands of pounds they've been able to save. Our details are on screen. We'd love to have a further conversation with you about how Operu can help. But thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of your day and um, hope you have uh, some more great sessions. Thanks a lot. Thanks, guys.